Highway 1, also called Pacific Highway, one of the very nice scenic roads in California. But I have something else in mind today and we will turn off very soon and go to the mountains. Many people come here to surf. There are many farms on this narrow strip of land between the Pacific Ocean on the right and the mountains on the left. Here is a artichoke farm. If you like artichokes, this is your place. So I am taking the exit, going, taking Bonnie Doon. Turn left onto Bonnie Doon Road. Yeah, you heard it. I'm going to Bonnie Doon, but that's not my destination today. It's just the shortest way to get Continue to... Continue for five miles. It is just the shortest way to get to where I want to go. I think you have probably never heard about Santa Cruz Mountains. Obviously, it's not Rocky Mountains or it's not even Sierra Nevada. It's unique and I will show you later why it is unique. It's a special environment because it kind of um, creates a wall between the coast and inland. Bonne Dune. It's interesting how isolated and rural and peaceful it feels and we are only about an hour from from the Silicon Valley to the east and about an hour from San Francisco to the north. And as they warn us, it can be icy here in winter. So I think we are in a town called Felton. As you can see on the right is a Felton Hotel. And we are pretty close to what I want to show you today. If you like trees, California is a place you should visit. You can find here the tallest trees on earth, 380 feet tall, which is about 160 meters. You can also find the largest ones, over 50,000 cubic feet. That would be almost 1,500 cubic meters and also the oldest ones, almost 5,000 years old trees. Not in one place, but all of them in California. And today I will show you the kind of trees that grow so tall that they can be higher than any other trees you would find anywhere on earth. The coastal redwood trees. All but 5% of old growth redwood trees survive today because people used to cut them for lumber. Coast redwoods range from southern Oregon to central California, extending not more than 50 miles inland, only as far as the coastal climate has its influence. Fog plays a vital role in the survival of these trees, protecting them from the summer drought conditions typical of this area. They also need abundant winter rain and moderate year-round temperatures. In ideal conditions, a coast redwood can grow two to three feet in height annually, but when the trees are stressed from lack of moisture and sunlight, they may grow as little as one inch per year. Because these trees are so tall, the treetop needles are exposed to more dry heat than the needles of branches in the dense canopy below. To compensate for this redwood, trees grow treetop needles with tight spikes that conserve moisture due to little evaporative surface. The lower branches, on the other hand, produce flat needles in order to catch additional light through the thick canopy of branches. These trees have shallow root systems that extend over 100 feet from the base, 
intertwining with the roots of other redwoods. This increases their ability during strong winds and floods. And redwoods are naturally resistant to insects, fungi and fire because they are high in tannin and do not produce resin or pitch. Their thick reddish bark also provides protection and insulation for the tree. And uh, you can see when you look around some trees um, obviously were burnt, survived the fire. Even a down tree can survive. The blackened hollows you can see when you walk around were caused by a fire a hundred years ago and are a testament to the tree's remarkable ability to survive. Redwood trees flower during the wet and rainy months of December and January, while each tree can produce about 100,000 seeds annually. The germination rate is very low. The redwoods grow more successfully from sprouts that form around the base of a tree and we can see them here also and you can see that uh, many mature trees uh, actually form rings around the base of uh, a tree or what used to be a tree and when the parent tree dies a new generation of trees rise creating those circles and, and they are often called fairy rings. Are these redwoods and famous sequoias the trees the same? The short answer is no. But there is more to the story than that. They look familiar and belong to the same family, but they live different lifestyles in different places. The natural range of redwoods, uh, in Latin called Sequoia sempervirens, is only in Northern California, close to the coast where we are now, and a little corner of coastal Oregon. The natural range of giant sequoias, called in Latin Sequoia giganteum, is only in California, a little bit south, and more inland, for example, in Yosemite National Park and so on. And how can you tell a redwood from sequoia? Well, the texture uh, of the wood is different. Growth rings of the redwood are wider. Both woods are resistant to decay. The bark of the giant sequoia is bright reddish brown, whereas the uh, redwood has kind of a dull chocolate brown color. And if you could see them side by side, which we cannot since they don't grow uh, in the same place, the redwoods are slender compared to sequoias. Sequoias are the largest trees on earth by volume. It's not the biggest tree here, it's just that it's easily accessible. So you can imagine the giants are really huge. And they say a redwood is a slender tall tree and it definitely is tall. Slender is compared to sequoias and can I ask you why do you have those piles of wood here oh they're going to do a controlled burn probably at the end of this month uh, they have been building those since last summer okay. yeah so it's banana yeah. slug this is a banana slug yes okay yes. very nice thank you yes Oh yeah, this tree, they figured this tree is about 2,000 years old, so this very center of the tree says, Birth of Jesus, Modern Calendar Begins. It will be the end of the video. I hope you like the trees, nature, the views, 
Thank you and take care. Bye bye.